Welcome back. You're watching today. And Innovation Edge is calling on educational technology ed tech companies to apply for funding. Now, that funding will support companies with innovative ideas to improve language and literacy access for young children in South African home. Um, Gilbert Agnetti is an investment impact analyst and he joins us for more on this. A very good afternoon to you, Gilbert, and thanks for your time this afternoon. Now, what is the low-hanging fruit for edtech companies to consider when they apply for this kind of funding? Because uh, based on the stats that we've seen when it comes to the level of absorption in education that uh, young people are taking in, it's quite scary and I suppose any innovative um, initiative would be appreciated at the stage. Great. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about this, uh, the funding call. So in terms of low hanging fruit, um, at, at this point, what I'd really encourage social entrepreneurs to, to look at and to consider, uh, I'll say three main, three main elements, um, information, affordability, and user experience. Um, as you mentioned, we are looking for tech-enabled and digital solutions um, to help tackle these problems, um, literacy and language acquisition that we've identified. Um, and what we've seen is that, you know, typically when it comes to information, you know, caregivers do struggle because they don't know, you know, the breadth of uh, resources that are out there um, to really assist them um, with assisting and supporting their children. Um, and you know, a lot of the resources aren't clear in terms of what's appropriate for children at certain ages, you know, based on their aptitudes and current stage of development. Uh, secondly, uh, with respect to affordability, you know, mm. we are looking for solutions that are looking to service low income communities, because a lot of the good quality resources that are out there, unfortunately, are not affordable um, to, to a lot of caregivers from low income communities. Um, and then lastly, with respect to digital solutions, um, a keen focus on the user experience. Um, often if the digital solution is too complicated and not really easy to use or understand, adoption rates tend to be quite low and those solutions aren't, aren't that sticky. Um, they tend to drop off after a few weeks or months of usage. Mm. Uh, you mentioned one component that it empowers uh, caregivers in low-income communities, uh, but how else does it give them the necessary tools and resources to be able to engage their children in activities that will enhance uh, that language and literacy skills that we talk about? So, so that would be dependent on the, the particular solution. Um, so what we are encouraging, um, and because... So because this call is focused on caregivers, we're trying to really encourage a continuous um, sense of learning from the school to the home environment. So those solutions which provide caregivers with the confidence um, to be able to engage meaningfully with children so that they can understand you know, the benefits of engaging in this particular learning program with their children. They're quite clear of the benefits. Um, and it's also pitched at an appropriate level. So they feel confident um, in using these, uh, the various materials from these programs to, to help assist, uh, assist their children. Mm. What criteria are you looking at when an entrepreneur is to apply for this particular funding? What kind of entrepreneur are you looking for here? That's a great question. So. We're, we're quite specific with this call. So we're looking for those interventions um, that specifically support caregivers. Uh, and then when we speak of caregivers, we're really speaking of anyone, any adult in the home that's responsible of taking care of, of children. So parents, grandparents, uncles, or aunts. Um, so those interventions that support caregivers of children aged zero to six uh, from impoverished communities um, in South Africa. So, so that would be the, the first um, large, large criteria. Um, secondly, we are looking for uh, digital tech enabled solutions. And then thirdly, solutions or interventions that have a good uh, opportunity um, for sustainability and growth beyond our investment and involvement. And then, of course, are, are the tools are practical and supportive of multiple languages? 
So yes, so we would definitely encourage um, the interventions to, to be quite expansive um, when it comes to the, the different languages in our country. Um, we find that children definitely learn best when they're trying to acquire literacy and language skills in their own home language, um, in the language that they hear at home or in their communities. So there is an encouragement that um, those interventions are, are expansive um, across several languages uh, that are present in our country. Yeah, and then, of course, as a final question, uh, I'm sure there's an entrepreneur watching this interview and wondering where exactly can I go and apply for this funding because I've got the solutions that you and I have just been discussing. Where exactly is it that they can go and apply for this funding? Great question. So our website, um, you'll find a detailed brief and application form. So that's www.innovationedge.org.za. Secondly, we're available on all forms of social media. So that's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And then lastly, you can email us at investments at innovationedge.org.za. Thank you very much uh, for those insights. That's Investment Impact Analyst at the Innovation Edge, Gilbert Anyeti, with uh, the funding application announcement for the entrepreneurs in the educational and technology space.